Should we be worried about Cardano's ADA? In today's video, we are going to be jumping down into the technical analysis on the larger macro views for Cardano. We're going to be taking a look at the daily, weekly timeframes for ADA, and I'll be sharing my thoughts and opinions on where I think Cardano is heading next. As I get into today's video, smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what are you waiting for? It's completely free. Link is in the description down below. Let's go ahead and kick things off with this analysis here on the one day time frame. I've been through this a couple of times recently. Not a lot has overly changed, but we have seen some interesting price action most recently for Cardano. So we obviously still have a very clear rejection uh, up here on our 200 exponential moving average. We can see that right in here. Okay, so that at the point of recording, uh, well, actually I say the point of recording, uh, this was the 22nd of April and the 23rd of April, right? That's where we saw the rejections. At the point of recording, the 200-day exponential moving average is coming in at 51.43 cent. Okay, we can see that through this white line just here. The yellow line is the 50 simple moving average, um, currently sat at 54.80. And you can see how this is arcing down quite aggressively, along with the blue line, which is the 50 exponential moving average, sat at 52.75. Now, the reason that I bring these up is that the 200 exponential moving average is your trend filter okay meaning that if you are above it on a daily time frame then you're bullish and if you're below it then you're bearish okay quite straightforward it's quite simplistic the 50 simple moving average the yellow line if this comes down and crosses lower than the 200 exponential moving average this is what is known as a death cross okay basically what that will mean is that the short-term price action of the simple moving average is crossing down lower than the longer term price action of the exponential moving average basically short-term price is weaker than long-term price and it's seen as bearish right and so if we are to see a death cross here the one thing that i do want to kind of point out out is that it's only really showing you what's already happened. These are laggy indicators. They're showing you the price action that has already passed, not telling you what the future holds for Cardano. But when people kind of show you that kind of idea that short term price action is now lower than longer term price action and they call it death cross, it's kind of really bearish and it scares a lot of people. Now, typically you do see a little bit of volatility when this happens, but it isn't actually long lived and you actually tend to find reversal short after a death cross occurs not in every instance but in some instances we have seen that actually the move to the downside is almost non-existent in, re in relation to the price action simply because it's been quite aggressive on the lead up to that death cross and so for Cardano here we can see already that we've dropped down 50.72%, right? So we know that we've actually already had a very aggressive move to the downside. Now, if we were to reflect on this through different means, so we turn off the EMAs here for a second and we throw on the smart money concepts, we can see that we have got a bearish characterizational change, right? This change of character, as indicated right here, is an indication that things were bullish have now turned into bearish. Not that you really needed to know that um, from a smart money concepts point of view, by the time you've dropped down 50%, it's kind of obvious. But what this actually means is you had a closed position lower than the previous wick low. Okay, so that is why you get this change of character. It's because over here on the 13th of April, we had a body, candle body, closed lower than the wick uh, that was preceding it. Okay, and therefore it's changed its characterization from its previous bullish structure that you see over here with a break of structure confirming it, okay, into a bearish structure. Okay, so we know that, you know, we're lower than our trend filter on our 200 exponential moving average. And we also have a bearish characterization change here for Cardano on the daily time frame. Equilibrium is sat higher and support levels are really not there at the moment. We can see that there is a fair value gap coming in a little bit deeper, uh, more towards that kind of 37 to 38 cent. Uh, this also happens to coincide with a 1.618 Fibonacci retracement extension area. Um, so 
I'll throw the EMAs back on there so you can really kind of see that a little bit clearer. Now, the Fibonacci levels are quite key because we already have come down quite deep in terms of the Fibonacci sequencing. OK, we can see here that we've come down deeper than the 1.382, but we haven't yet hit that 38.65, which will put us right there on the 1.618. Now, why do I talk about Fibonacci's? Well, Fibonacci levels are very important for an Elliott wave understanding. You can't just round randomly draw on Elliott waves without actually relating them to Fibonacci. The two things go together. You can't do one, uh, or you can't do Elliott wave with um, Fibonacci, right? So the reason of the 1.618 is you can only consider this a five wave trend move once you actually go down deeper than 1.618, okay, and which would lead you down even deeper towards the kind of mid to low 30 cent ranges. The importance of this means that we are looking for a five wave sub count in here, meaning that this target range of 33.83 to 37.49 has to hit in order for us to actually consider this a five wave move to the downside. OK, so that's kind of the bearish side of things, right? What are the bulls looking for? What are the Cardano bulls really hoping for, right? Because we know that our you know, simple moving averages, our exponential moving averages are not good. We know that the smart money concepts also not looking good. Elliott wave theory, not looking good, right? So is there anything here to be overly too positive about? And unfortunately, there isn't an awful lot. We do have lower highs and lower lows as indicated with a trend line here. OK, and you can see this very clearly. Um, and we do not have the overlapping candlesticks that we need to see if we actually want to kind of, you know, make this a little bit more bullish. So what are the bulls actually going to be trying to do? Well, the bulls are going to be looking to try to break out of some of these structures that they find themselves in. They're going to be looking to try to get a closed position above the 200 day exponential moving average, i.e. above and closed on the daily time frame above 51.43. And they're also going to be targeting out from an Elliott Wave theory point of view a change of characterization coming in at 55.93 cent. OK, that would basically break the idea of going down deeper into our kind of, you know, five wave trending move to the downside. So if the bulls really want to try to break out of the bearish patterns that they find themselves in, then they need to be basically rallying the price up higher than the 200 day exponential moving average and higher than 55.93. The 55.93 doesn't even need to close. It just needs to wick higher because it can just break the structure with a wick. OK, so it's very important that we kind of see that if we want to be bullish on Cardano. Now, what pattern could potentially do that? Well, we don't really have one at the moment in relation to the most recent price action here on the daily, we can see that we had a three wave corrective pattern towards our 200 day exponential. And we can see here that we don't have a massive uh, confirmation that this is done, but there's possibility that we truncated on a Y wave here, indicating that we now start to see the next kind of leg upwards. I just don't think that's necessarily the correct way of looking at it at the moment. So I guess this is going to be a bit of a warning on the daily time frame that things could get a little bit worse, but that bleeding in the market, that is the opportunity to dollar cost average and to build out those positions because I do think that we still are in a very bullish market overall for the altcoins. It is just going through this kind of bearish phase at the moment. Now, if we roll this up into a weekly time frame, things are actually not terrible. OK, we can see here that we have been dancing around with the weekly 200 exponential moving average. And last week, we unfortunately did close lower than that 200 exponential. But we did find support on the 50 simple moving average on the daily time frame. It's happened a couple of times. There's good support all around that 50 SMA coming in at 41.91 cents. So although we can see there is potential here for still some slippage to the downside, as indicated on the daily time frame, the weekly time frame is actually holding up quite well. Our stochastic RSI is also down in an oversold area, indicating that momentum on the weekly time frame is resetting and we're likely to see a bit of a reversal. So the bulls do have the kind of the ball in their court to a degree when it comes to the weekly time frame. Um, so not too bad. If we we throw on, uh, sorry, take off the uh, EMAs and the SMAs, throw on the smart money concepts, and well, we still don't have any changes to the run that we've seen to the upside. Okay, for the most part, we are still actually in a bullish structure from all the way over here, over on the 6th of July 
2020. We haven't actually changed or broken that structure. Okay, we do see, of course, these bearish characterization changes that with dashed lines these are not permanent they are short term and so of course we saw this entire bear market on the back of that and most recently we actually have seen that cardano's price action is remaining inside its current bullish state of play here uh, as you can kind of see with the change of characterization and the break of structure we haven't actually come down and changed any of that um of that structure and the reason for that is that we haven't closed down lower than this wick just over here coming in at a price of 44.77 we've actually managed to avoid that on the weekly time frame meaning that we still remain in a bullish pattern on the macro scale so am i concerned no not at this point i am concerned that maybe we've lost that 200 week exponential that's an interesting movement um, but we are finding support on the 50 sma and that gives me some confidence the good confidence on the macro for cardano is that it still remains in a bullish state of play that it found itself in all the way back over in 2020 and 2021 meaning that everything that we've seen so far is all a part of a corrective action before it gets into that next bullish run to the upside. I've been through the price predictions before and you know they still remain very much true. I am still looking for somewhere between $5 and $12 on the conservative side and if we do get the moonshot then we are looking for $38 upwards to $130 which you know is, is going to be a very very stretch of a target. I don't think that's likely to happen um, but would signal around 17,000% in gains. Now, I think the $5 to $12 is the most likely simply because I think that's where we're likely to kind of get a decent run towards and where we're going to find a, a nice hefty amount of resistance and selling pressure. So I do see us with kind of new all time highs in the future for Cardano. And I know that goes against the grain for many of the narratives that are kind of spun out there. But I do think that uh, those who build great projects and great technology technology over a long period of time will succeed and a lot of the people who've been sleeping on Cardano will probably end up regretting it in the long term but this is a long-term project it isn't about pump and dumps this is about kind of building great technology building great adoption over a long period of time and as such as an investor of that idea and those ideas basically in my opinion come into fruition we should be looking at decent price appreciation over time you can let me know what your thoughts are on all of that in the comments down below though and uh, guys if you haven't done so yet i do urge you guys to check out this video right here where we are discussing what is going on with btc